Hi Aries, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to do your July love reading. Please remember this is a general reading. If you'd like something more specific, my information's in the description box. This will be for your sun, your moon, your rising, and your Venus signs. Uh, if you'd like to check out your other signs, there is a video playlist link um, in the description box as well. And if I didn't say it already, timing is uh, fluid and flexible. Uh, energies or roles can be reversed in the reading with your person and the last thing that I have for you I am doing a giveaway at the end of the month I'm giving away two personal readings to um, enter you just need to subscribe like and comment and um, if you're already a subscriber thank you you just need to like and comment all right Aries so I want to also say thank you Aries um, thank you for all your love your support your comments, your shares, your subscribes. Um, I do appreciate them. I do read all of your comments. It does take me some time, so I just wanted to give you guys um, a big thank you for all your support. All right, so let's get started here. We're gonna pull three Romance Angels for Aries. This is gonna be um, for love for July. Let's get three cards for Aries. Thank you, angels, for your guidance. Let's get three cards. This is from the Romance Angels. Okay, Ooh, we have Codependency. You deserve love. And getting to know each other. Okay, bottom of the deck, you have trust. The situation is calling for you to have faith here. All right, so the first card that you have is Addictions. I'm sorry, not addictions, codependency, addictions um, are affecting your romantic life. So you could be dealing with somebody that has addictions. Uh, you know, you can, may have some sort of addiction as well. Um, you know, take the, the messages, how they resonate with you. But addictions come in all forms, okay? You know, they can be anything from, you know, a workaholic, an alcoholic. Um, you know, just could be um, somebody who is addicted to, you know, eating, um, you know, there's all different things here. So, you know, it's not one specific thing. This can be codependent tendencies. Um, you and this person that you are dealing with that, you know, you could have a codependent relationship, all right? Or it just can be a very strong pull, okay? Where you feel you can't just, you can't let go of this person here, all right? So I always see that as, you know, too, it's it's that difficult um, situation where you feel like you can't let go of this person. You know that there is a reason why um, the two of you are connected. And, and that's what I feel here with the codependency card as well. The second card that you have is you deserve love, you are lovable. Okay, this is Cupid's arrow getting ready to strike here. Um, for some of you, this could be a new love coming in for you. Okay. Um, and for others, this can be, you know, a person that you're with, all right, um, definitely is in love with you. There's, they're feeling it here, okay, because uh, Cupid's arrow is right there, you know, almost like um, they've been shot in the heart here. And then we have getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens, okay. So I feel for some of you, this is going to be a newer relationship where the two of you are getting to know each other. Uh, your angels are saying, take the time, get to know each other. Um, I do feel here, this is, you know, the two of you definitely uh, moving to somewhere where um, you're definitely feeling in your heart, feeling the emotion, the connection, okay, romantic feelings. Um, for others, this can uh, be you know, someone you're dealing with that you could have codependent uh, tendencies with here, all right? And maybe you're just discovering, okay, this person has uh, codependent issues or um, some sort of addiction here, okay? So you're going to have to take the messages, uh, how they resonate with you here. But I want to say, though, your, your um, angels are saying here to trust. And right below that here, we have soulmate energy. So I do feel here you're dealing with a soulmate as well. Okay, so let's move on to your 
Psychic Tarot Oracle cards here. We're going to pull uh, some messages and then we'll clarify them. All right, here we go. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. Um, what are the messages you have for Aries for July love? What messages do you have for Aries? Let's get current energy, please. What's the current energy for Aries in July love? Okay, we have intuition. What's the challenge of the situation here with Aries for July love? We have choose wisely. What's the focus of the reading for Aries for July love? What's the, the focus of the reading for July love? We have disruption. What's the future guidance here for Aries for July love? We have awareness. Okay, I feel strongly here already that um, spirit is trying to make you aware of something, wanting you to use your intuition. What is the possible outcome here for July love here? What is the possible outcome for July love for Aries? Ooh, okay, we have deception and envy here. All right, bottom of the deck here, we have emotional withdrawal. All right, so I feel here, um, Aries, there's somebody here in the situation, somebody may be withdrawing emotionally. Could be because of, of an addiction um, or this codependency here. The picture is a little bit clearer here. I feel, Aries, you may be dealing with somebody, um, a codependent relationship that you have or have had in the past, okay? I feel for some of you, um, uh, spirit is not wanting you to repeat those cycles or those tendencies. Um, and I feel here they're telling you that you deserve love here, okay? This is about loving yourself and knowing that you do deserve love here. And I feel here there's somebody new coming in for you. Okay, because I feel like there is some deception with somebody else that you're dealing with. Um, in this deck, and, and I'm going straight to this outcome card because in this deck with deception and envy, I feel here that um, most of the time the message I get with this card is somebody's hiding their emotions. But in this case, I feel like somebody is actually um, hiding something okay they could be hiding an addiction all right or they could be hiding something unhealthy here that's what I'm getting here with the codependent and I don't feel like it's this new love here I feel like it's somebody you're dealing with in the past and this could be somebody in your life or somebody from your past but I feel like they don't want you to repeat the same cycles here and they want you to choose wisely like I said here the challenge here is choosing wisely here so I feel there's a new person coming in for you and I feel like there's this um, energy around you or this past energy um, that may be tempting you. And so I feel here spirit is telling you to choose wisely. They're telling you here, which is in the current energy, to use your intuition. They're really wanting you to use your intuition with this situation because I feel like you're going to be tempted by this other energy here. And the focus of the reading here, we have disruption. So this tells me that you're going to have a little struggle with this, okay? For some, this could be a struggle with an addiction. Um, for some, this can be a struggle of this person around you that may have an addiction or there's some unhealthy energy, okay, is what I'm getting here. So I, I feel like this may be a little difficult with for you, but the future guidance here from Spirit, we have awareness here. They're tr they're, they want you to see things from a, a different perspective here. Because like I said, the message that I'm getting is I feel here they're, they're wanting, they, they don't want you to repeat the same cycles or the past cycles here. Okay, They want you to know that you deserve love and they want you to know um, that you are deserving of love and this is your self-worth right so they're really wanting you when this new person comes in or if this person has already come in they want you to really get to know this person they want you to take some time to get this to know this person because they don't want you to repeat the same cycles that you have been repeating whatever this unhealth unhealthy energy um, that i'm getting here 
So let's clarify these cards and see what other messages we have here. I'm not going to do a lot of pre-shuffle because I actually shuffled these cards before we went on camera here. So let's get one more shuffle. Excuse me. All right. So, <coughs> excuse me. We're going to clarify the challenge first. Why is um, Choose Wisely here? Thank you, Angels and Spirit, for your guidance. Why is Choose Wisely here for Aries for July Love? Why is Choose Wisely here, please? So we have the Wheel of Fortune. And we have the Nine of Wands. Okay, look here. We have the Ten of Cups on the bottom of the deck. They want you to choose wisely here because they want to give you the happiness and love that you deserve here. Uh, look at you have here. You have the Wheel of Fortune. And I'm getting very, very strong um, vibrations from Spirit right now um, and the angels. <sighs> give me just a moment. I'm, I'm trying to process. I'm feeling a lot of emotion here, so I don't... No, Aries, if you're going through a lot right now emotionally, it does show me here you're a little beat up. Um, but Spirit is really wanting me to give you this strong message. They really want to bring you the blessings that you deserve. We talked about here, you deserve love. They really want to bring you your blessings. They know that you've been through a lot. Um, you can see this person is beat up here. They really want you to choose wisely with this decision. That's really important that you get to know this person or it, it could be this other person that's around you because I am seeing here there are two options up here. So I feel for some of you there are going to be two options. There's going to be an energy around you that it's not healthy for you. And there's going to be a new person coming in. So I feel it's a very strong message, Aries. Okay. The uh, spirit does want you to, um, does want to bring you blessings and the things are going to turn in your favor here but they do want you to choose wisely you could be dealing with a taurus a leo a scorpio or an aquarius okay also have fire energy aries leo and sagittarius so thank you angels and spirit for your guidance Ooh, we were clarifying intuition let's get one more card for intuition please thank you angels and spirit why is intuition here for Aries for July love? There it is. Bottom of the deck here, we have five of wands. Yeah, I feel here there is, um, there is some chaos that's going to happen around you. Like I said, there's this energy around you that is not healthy. All right, could be dealing with an, uh, a Leo, a Sagittarius, um, or this is your energy here, Aries. Okay, but I definitely feel like there's some some um, energy that's not good around you. So clarifying the intuition, we have the two of wands and we have the ten of pentacles. So I feel here you're going to um, have to make a choice here. Okay, this is about your future, uh, where you're going, where you're headed, um, to bring you your ten of pentacles, to bring you your happiness okay your security your happiness there could be finances involved as well all right so i feel like you're really being um a strong message here is really uh choose wisely use your intuition um because to gain stability here okay uh, as far as love and relationships here they, they really want you to, to definitely choose wisely is what I'm getting. You could be dealing with a Capricorn Taurus or a Virgo. Um, and this is your, air, your energy here, Aries. I want to say too, for some of you, you may be feeling stuck. Okay. Or you may be feeling um, like um, you're still attached to whatever this energy is from the, from the past or currently. Like I said, you may be feeling like you can't let go of this. All right, because you can see one wand here is strapped to the wall, okay? And then there's one wall that isn't, all right? Now your hand is on the other one. So I feel like this is an indication that you are going to move on from whatever this unhealthy energy is 
or spirit is trying to guide you to do that. Now let's move on to the disruption card. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. Why is disruption here for Aries, for July love? Why is disruption here, please? Let's get two more cards. Please, two more cards. There's the two cards. Bottom of the deck, we have the Six of Wands, your energy again, Aries. So I feel like they're saying here, um, I feel like they're saying here you are going to get past this. You are going to have a victory in the situation. I feel like you are going to feel good. I feel like you're going to have um, a lot of support behind you. So this could be family, friends, um, what have you. But there is going to be a lot of support around you. Um, and I do see here with the Five of Swords and the Hangman um, clarifying the disruption, the focus. I feel like you're going to leave um, whatever this conflict was in the past or this unhealthy energy. I feel like you're going to leave it in the past. I feel like you're going to have the upper hand in the matter. I feel like you're going to make the decision with the hangman here. You're going to see things from a different perspective that's going to help you move forward. You could be dealing with an Aquarius, a Libra, or Gemini as well. All right, so let's move on to future guidance of awareness. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. Why is a future awareness here for Aries, July love? Why is awareness here for Aries, for July future love? Let's get two cards, please. There's one. Tower moment. Okay, let's get one more. Wow. Ooh. Okay, those vibrations are coming back here from Spirit. We got the Devil card. Could be dealing with a Capricorn. Yeah, I feel like you're going to have a tower moment regarding this unhealthy energy here. This Devil energy here. The guidance here from Spirit. All right. The universe is intervening here. Okay. Like I said, they're going to make they're making you see things from a different perspective here with the magician here. They're wanting you to, to um, take everything that you've learned from this experience and move on is what I'm getting here. They're, they're enlightening you to move on from this energy. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. Why is the deception and envy card here? Ooh, death card could be dealing with a Scorpio. Why is deception and envy here? Yeah, oh my gosh, beautiful Aries. Look at this again. Wow, getting a lot of uh, strong vibrations from spirit right now through this whole reading. Judgment card. You're going to have to make a judgment call because there is this energy from your past. And I feel here it's karmic energy that you're dealing with. And you're going to have to make a judgment call. You're going to have to make a decision which has been throughout your whole reading. And look at this. The outcome here for deception and envy death card here I feel this deception and envy whatever this energy is is going to come to an end because you got other opportunities coming in for you your ships are coming in and they're better opportunities for your future here and this is a, a whole transformation that you're going through to release this toxic energy um, that's around you or that is from your past so that your ship your new ships are coming in okay your niche your new ships are coming in um, when it comes to love like I said you got new love coming in here and um, it's just beautiful here for you Aries all right Aries I hope you gain clarity from this reading um, again if you'd like to enter the giveaway subscribe like comment I appreciate it I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening, and I'm sending you angel love.